What is up everyone? It's Gage here and welcome to you Buck Dad. And today, today, we're going to be talking about something that is controversial in the Buccaneers fan base. Kyle Trask. Is Kyle Trask a bust? Hmm. Now, there is saying, hey, he was a second round pick. Obviously, he's getting prepped to succeed Tom Brady. Well, the actions of the Buccaneers are saying a different story. Obviously, Kyle Trask didn't suit up the whole year during his rookie season. You know, they had Blaine Gabbers the backup, so you can definitely see that. Um, and first strings typically don't suit up because they got a backup behind them. Um, so that's okay. You know, Kyle Trask did struggle a lot uh, there in practices and all that. But you went your head in year two. That's when you, you're kind of expecting them to start to step up. Especially after spending a whole year learning to play book everything. Learning under the greatest quarterback of all time. You kind of expect them to kind of pick it up at year two. Now, we don't know Kyle Trask. Really, like, we have a sense of kind of quarterback he could be. But we haven't seen him actually play. So this preseason is going to be a big, big factor. But what's really been kind of upping the Kyle Trask talk is he a bust. Is his training camp performance. It's been horrendous. Picks. A lot of picks. You know, he's made a couple passes. But overall, he's been making a lot more mistakes than he has passes. He Or progressive. He hasn't been very progressive at all uh, since his rookie year. Um, and I have not been hearing any too much good scenes about him. And, uh, you could say, oh, he's only getting, he's only getting second and third reps. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And like I said, you, usually sh- you'd be playing pretty good if you're playing against backup. And this is when you got to shine. You do you say people make excuses for Aaron Rodgers was doing horrible against backups. He would, uh, he would find a way around it. He would work with the receivers until they got the chemistry to catch and throw and uh, until they could do everything together. Um, Kyle Trash is not getting them one snaps because he hasn't earned it. He has not earned those snaps. Um, and and let's, not act, let's not act like uh, we don't have great receivers. All the, down the line, we have good receivers. Tyler Johnson, who's picking up this year. We have uh, freaking uh, Grayson, Cyril Grayson, who had a phenomenal season last year. And we have upcoming rookies, Tompkins, who I, Devin Compkin, uh, Tompkins, who is doing pretty well as well. And we have, uh, and then obviously it's Scotty Miller. We have outside of uh, Jones, Gage, uh, Evans, and Goblin, we have another. Three to five, five because I forgot uh, Perriman's back also. That's like five decent receivers. You can't, Kyle Trash, you can't get the ball in their hands, bro. And uh, that pass was overthrown. That pick uh, that went controversial on Twitter, as you guys seen, uh, it was pretty bad. It was a wobbly pass right to the guy. There was a receiver there um, because uh, some people thought it was uh, it was pra- it was practice for the deep acts of catch interception. It was not. Um, he overthrew it over way over uh, Darren's hands, Jalen Darden, and uh, right to uh, Carlton Davis. I believe it was Carlton Davis. Um, that was that was not a drill. You it's so bad. You would think it was a drill. Like, I would have felt better if it was a drill. It wasn't. It wasn't. He That was him legit trying to pass it. Kyle Trask. Obviously, we haven't seen him play, so we don't have too much. We don't have a, the greatest idea. But this preseason, after this preseason, this is going to be dictate if Kyle Trask will stick as a successor uh, for Tom Brady. Uh, I'm going to put my opinion there. Blaine Gabbard, I'd rather have. I'd rather have Blaine because Bl- Kyle Trask. And this is not impressed with. Like, just kind of, like, you can tell leaders. 
by how they talk, how they lead. Kyle Trask, I don't see any of that. I don't see none of that. I just see a guy, you tell him to do something, he'll do his best. <laughs> he'll do his best. Obviously, we all, he did phenomenal in college, but keep in mind, he had whole, he had first round pick talent around him. Kyle Pitts, Kendarius Tony from the Giants. Who else? Who, who else is phenomenal there? There's a few of them. There's a few of them. And uh, Kyle Trask, I think, uh, is a dud. I think he's going to be a dud. I, I want to, I hope he would be, I hope he does well, but I just don't see it. I don't see the leadership. I don't see the play. I just don't think Trask has it, bro. You know, honestly, I'm comparing to Christian Potter for the Vikings. That dude was horrible. Uh, smart dude. Really smart, actually. And, uh, but he wasn't rejected high. He was. He was. He got drafted early because the Vikings were uh, pretty desperate at that point. Um, I think they're very similar. I think they're very similar. I think they are highly sought after. Um, both teams saw a chance to take someone that has poten great potential in their eyes, and <laughs> going to suck. They suck bad. And I think Kyle Trask is going to be that guy. It tell it, it really tells you the coaching staff doesn't even uh, the quarterback coach said that he doesn't Kyle Trask can beat out Blaine Gabber. He does not think that at all. Uh, I've been talking about this for months. There's a reason he is not Blaine Gabbert still on this team because right now they're fighting for the backup job. And I'm telling you, Blaine Gabbert's winning. He's winning. Blaine Gabbert, I trust way over Kyle Trask. At least Blaine Gabbert does well. You know, he does all right. He does all right. He doesn't fuck up the game, and he uh, does his job. But Kyle Trask, you haven't earned the right to even play on the field at this point. Kyle Trask, I, uh, I want to be wrong. I do. I want to be wrong, and uh, maybe he ups his leadership, leadership, but I feel like that's within, so I don't see it happening. But at least skill-wise, see something. I don't see anything. I don't see nothing at this point. If we uh, if we don't have much options next year, I'd rather have Teddy Bridgewater or Blaine Gabbert, who's been in the system. Who at that point would be his fifth season. Um. So yes, I think Kyle Trask is going to be a bust. It's. I think if he does terrible this preseason, I think he should never play. He should not see the field as a Buccaneer. Um. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this video. Like and subscribe and uh I hope you buck that.